I don't know. I feel like I should be op. I don't even know. Rifling wasn't working for me. I was just whiffing everything. Come on, Tyson. You got this, man. Let's don't worry about ahead. the last map. Welcome to the Valorant First Strike Qualifies. Myself and Dust will be bringing you both best of three of today. Uh, overall, I feel like the tournaments recently for um, our team have been going pretty well. I think we've been showing a lot of growth and uh, improvement, and you know, hopefully we just keep that up. Obviously, the Ignition Series is a little bit disappointing because we weren't able to uh, to win any of them, but we did get second place in two or three of them, and then we got a third place finish as well. Um, I think we've proven that we're one of the best teams uh, in NA consistently based on our results. We've been putting in the extra work now to possibly get over the hump and... Uh, take home a trophy that's something that we all uh we're all craving to uh to get yeah the formats for the past few tournaments have been okay i guess there there could be some improvement coming from cs i think i'm used to certain formats and how tournaments are run and the valorant tour tournament organizers have been kind of uh different than cs tournaments we're able to beat every team i think but the teams that give us the most trouble right now are probably I would say Sentinels and Envy. I think uh, if we're playing to our highest potential though, I think we can definitely beat any team on any given day. Coming into First Strike, we we just tried to get a lot of reps in on scrims and together as a whole to better our communication and teamwork because that is the stuff that, especially to communication, that's one of the things that we need to improve on the most. And so we're on the same page. We did start practicing a bit differently. Um, we were setting goals uh, every day of practice, stuff we wanted to work on, stuff we wanted to try out, you know, trying different uh, agent comps, seeing, you know, if we could swap different agents out on different maps, because maybe that just favored a matchup versus a team. I mean, one of the biggest things with Valorant when it comes to practice is like coming from CS, there was a very small, group of teams that you'd want to practice against like maybe four or five teams but uh with valorant obviously we'll prioritize certain teams over others but uh there's a lot of different play styles and just like the way that people are approaching the game in general is a lot different so there's a lot of opportunity to to practice and uh really you know fine tune all the things that we're working on uh, behind the scenes when it was the open qualifier i don't really think any team surprised us at all we just knew that if we came to play our game that we would beat most of the teams honestly we have so many like good protocols and you know like practice has been really going well with their communication and teamwork so i expected that to carry us through the qualifier and it, it did maybe I, if i had to choose one i'm maybe a little surprised by slimy boogerman so they actually eliminated cloud nine white from the open qualifier it was the last it was the match for top 16 if cloud nine white would have won we would have played cloud nine white instead you know for a team that's um, not signed to an org or anything i think that they're they're pretty good Going up against TSM and NV towards the end of the open qualifier, we kind of have a good understanding of how both teams play, and because we we've obviously played them a lot in tournaments, we scrim against them, we practice against them. Uh, historically, we have a really good matchup against them. I think we're three and zero, four and one. I think overall head to head with uh, going all the way back to when we had Infinite on the team. But I think with Vice, I don't think we've lost a single BO3 with uh, with Dan on the team against them. Especially when they banned Haven, because they had the, the higher seed. When they banned Haven, we knew we had it in the bag. We were really confident that we could uh, we could close the series. The one, two, or should we call him the clutch alert? Unfortunately, this time we will not. Cloud9 wraps up map number one. Going into Bind, we've been putting in a lot of work on Bind uh, during the break, because it was our weakest map by far. Uh, beforehand. A few rounds didn't go our way. They played really well. Uh, unfortunately, we, we lost in overtime, I think like 14-12 or 15-13, something like this. But then, you know, we just took a mental reset. We knew that we were starting defense on split and, you know, we felt super confident uh, playing against their Viper on split. We kind of knew exactly what they were going to do. Relics, and he escapes. He's 
HP is all that remains if he finds this pick. He can heal up, but he can't. Relics will find you. You don't need an ever Now the snow spell from comes through. That's going to be the stuff. But once again, it's a save round for TSM. Cloud9 continues to make a statement. Pays the round. You've got at least six more seconds that you're going to work with because you know he can't push into that. But he's got to go here. Screens. I did 40, 45. 1v1. Doable. That's what we get relics. Showstopper as well. Alarm bot there. Alarm bot there. A bazooka in his hand. Yes, who's there on the opposite side? But it whips. Now it's down to the 1v1. He's no, no. Fucking. I did 103 to this guy. I tried. I did 40. It went past him. It went past I'm going to cry. I think you guys just stay together there, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. just stay sight with me. I think losing that round was was uh <laughs> was kind of tilting for some of us, but uh, I think we had the experience to to like regain our composure and try to focus on the future rounds to to close it out. Nice, nice. let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Cloud Nine, do it again. And they best team solo mid. Um, I definitely. I definitely thought that we'd place in like top four, top two of the bracket. I I didn't really accept the expectation that we would just win the open qualifier, but we definitely were playing really well. It's now down to the spike diffuser. He's sitting in oh intense with the jump God. shot. Some slime falling and goes down. And it's a quick shot oh. coming out from Vice. Tens with the follow up at the end. Winning it was nice, but unfortunately we really didn't benefit that much from the uh, the first seed that we got because a lot of, you know, uh, very good teams kind of went out earlier in the open qualifier than people expected, like Sentinels, so having the first seed I don't think really helped us that much, but... We were happy with our performance, but we knew the job wasn't finished yet. We wanted to qualify for the main event, That's that was all of our goals. So a good opening for Cloud9 right now, especially now that they get the entry frag too. The first one to fall, Tens is moving in with the buggy. <laughs> with the Odin at least. And in the spray he gets Three. third, Weeded goes down. He's what? getting fourth. he can ace with this gun, it's just Brando left. This was a round that he would Come on. take the exit. Once we found out our group, uh, 100 Thieves, Exit, and uh, Luminosity, felt like our group was a bit harder than some of the other groups that we could have gotten in terms of the draw but you know if you want to win the tournament you got to beat everybody so we just you know we went in just focused on doing what we needed to i think we, we started off against exit pretty straightforward business as usual we were able to take them down to zero um and then going into the match against 100 thieves we felt like we were the better team and i think we proved it in that series we uh we had a really good game plan that we had set going into that match and the team was on fire our communication was really good and uh we were able to just, you know, secure the win there. Should be GG. Uh, yeah, obviously our, our loss to Renegades was was really disappointing to us. Um, but we had been playing really well for for a while, and you know, sometimes you really do have off days. Comms were all scattered. We didn't feel like the normal the normal team that I know we can be. We got kind of caught off guard a little bit by how Renegades played, and um, looking back on that on that game, there's like a few rounds where I think if we had won those rounds, the outcome of the the series would have been in our favor. Envy winning the event isn't really surprising. They've been making every grand final. They've been really tough to play against. They've looked strong with their two uh, two new pickups. When I was able to watch their gameplay, Envy just looked really solid. Their teamwork was on point. They had a lot of innovative ideas that they brought to the game. And I, I think it was just like another step up above Thunder Thieves. I think Kildra is A-Main or B-Main still. Kildra is B-Main still. Uh, one mid. Fucking Phoenix mid. Phoenix mid. Running back tiles. Running Apparent back to B-Main. We can go right now. Yeah, 4v3. 4v3 I'm site, guys. I'll flash, I'll flash late. Yeah, I'll flash. Yeah. Late B-Main. Late B-Main, guys. Jacked. Right side. Bo. Oh my god. Right, he ran out B-Main, I'm pretty sure. And wow. We literally just... <laughs> three of us died at the same time. We know some other players from CS, and you know we know that they, you know, are, mecha are mechanically skilled. I guess I think it is worth noting though that the reason that I think you see some of these like smaller orgs taking maps off of like teams that have been around for a long time and and things like that is because like the game is very young, right? And the meta is sort of constantly like shifting and changing depending on how people utilize agents and like what comps they run. That you really have to treat every team is a potential threat because it really does feel like depending on who shows up on any given day that uh, almost anyone can beat anyone i don't know if we took them lightly but we um we started off slow i think like what skylar said and i think if we were like more prepared and 
maybe we underestimated them a little bit and uh, that kind of contributed to our slow start a bit. Um, and yeah, like they have really uh, mechanically skilled players. So I think if you have a slow start or if some players are having a bad day, then it's like they can start to run away with their lead. The close peak. Swing comes in from Bice, wins that duel. No Maybe they have a little bit. DXN either. Health is low for him. Bice. Maybe, maybe. I'm on HP. I'm on a dark tree. Wait, wait, wait. Pretty good stairs. Keep falling. Only left? Nice. Uh, nice uh, fucking retake. Let's go, Dan. Sign, sign. The trip. I'm stunned. Elbow. Sign elbow. Dead. Elbow dead. One more. In this smoke. I don't know. In this smoke. In this smoke. Dead. On the bomb. Nice. GG, boys. A faster retake now for Cloud9. Vice stuck on a three versus one. Running out backside. Yeah. It's not planning for you. That's you. That's you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's sprinting, Dan. He's running Wait, CT right there? now. Hey. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, both. Nice! Nice! Tyson. Tyson, he's right here. Peeking right now. Nice! Let's go! Nice! Okay. Okay. Sidewalk, sidewalk. 2v1, 2v1. Let 27. Let 27. Buddy, I'm, I'm walking him. Yeah, I'm just walking up. You got it! Nice, Dan! Let's go! Good, guys. We played. Well traced by Vice. I mean, that's a dirty old in the end. So T1's another team that we we haven't scrimmed that often. Compared to other teams, they they do play like a very cs like slow defaulty play style you know they have days calling for them they have a bunch of uh cs vets on their team as far as the match to be completely honest they had multiple players showing up individually that day um spider and skadoodle were were both owning uh azk also was playing pretty well and on the flip side i don't know if it was because it was an early game or what but we, again you know not necessarily even slow starting we just didn't feel like the same team um, as when we are, you know, like all communicating and sort of like vibing off of each other and, and playing together. So we usually try to get a warm-up scrim before every official because um, we're aware that we're slow starters. So getting that warm-up scrim in definitely helps uh, the team like get the juices flowing, like get the comms going. But uh, the T1 game started at 9 a.m. Pacific, and there was no teams looking for warm-up scrims. I don't want to speak for everyone, but for me, it, it definitely helps me going or like get started uh, for the the official match. So, yeah. Outdoor, 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 out heaven, out heaven, out heaven. Yeah. Nice, Tyler. Nice. 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 They smoke be heaven. Okay, I'm leaving him. Leaving it. Ulting. In our, oh, heaven, heaven. In our spot. In our spot. In our spot. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Wait, Omen, yeah, Omen, nurse one, nurse one. It's coming out, I'll kill him in a sec. Nice, nice guys. Nice they got orb long B. Oh, one more's on the B. left, bro. One TP. Nice. I do want to thank all the fans that have supported us and continue to support us. And um, trust me when I say that, you know, no one is more disappointed with the result than, you know, the team and, um, and the organization and the staff. So we will do everything in our power to ensure that we are you know, in the best form we can be and that we we actually make the tournament next time so all the fans can watch us play and support us. Thank you to all the fans that continue to support the C9 Valorant team and Cloud9. Uh, I know we didn't make the mark this time, but uh, I assure each and every one of you that we're working really hard and that we'll exceed expectations for the next time.